Hello, this is Broer, and welcome back to our Let's Play of uh, Factorio. Having some fun, getting uh, getting some of our smelting going, more automated fashion, so... Good stuff there. Uh, looks like we need a little bit of coal down here. Again, taking advantage of our uh, long reach, because why not? Alright, you guys need some more there as well. In fact, you probably do as well. The little smelter thing. All right, pick up some of that path. Uh, I don't know that we need stone. We got plenty of stone right now. Let's go ahead and pick up some more coal. Get those guys still running. All right, so what do we want to do next? We still got our science rolling for now. Um, could start smelt setting up some smelting. Uh, although the iron's really, I mean, this, this set of iron right here is going to last us quite a while. So we could do some other types of automation or something. Um. So like I said, I think I want our bus to go north, south to north specifically. Um, let me go dig in through my my uh, blueprints. I got quite a few of them. There's my smelting one, um, which I apparently include some uh, miners as well. Oh, there's my electric one for late game. Stone smelting line. I really need to organize these things a little bit better. Uh, a still early game. That's a uh, smelting line that's a little more spread out, but I actually think I like this compact one. So, um, probably going to do something like, how do we want to do this? I think most of our production stuff, like the the, the machines are going to be over on the left side since we're very cramped over here on the right. Now, that, not that we're not going to have any on the right side, but most of them are going to be on the left. So, for what that tells me is... I would like the iron closest to the machines. So I think we're going to put the iron things on the left side of this. Um, let's go ahead and create something next. Definitely something that requires only red only. Uh, we do have biters, so let's go ahead and get some of the military stuff going. So I want to make sure I have enough gap here to uh, like do any type of balancing or whatever with the co uh, copper. But if we did something like, and we also want enough space with the, uh, you know, make sure we don't, I don't do anything with the power, but I, I think this is enough space. So something like, I don't know, something like this right here. That was not intentional. I was trying to hold it down to uh, drag, but you can't do that with blueprints. Silly me. Uh, let's see. Destructions. Was it control? No. Shift. Yeah, shift. Get rid of the deconstruct order. Um, you. So like that. There we go. We're going to put four of these down just to signify where the copper is going to be. And then the iron will be this one right here. And we're not going to put a second, another one down there. That's going to be fine. Let's go ahead and get rid of these trees that we know are in the way. That's going to be perfectly fine. Come on. All right, there we go. Uh, we are definitely out of coal. So let's go ahead and fill all these guys up. And get a little bit more coal from down here. Uh, you need to be filled up as well. And just for good measure, every time we think about it, we'll just go ahead and put some in the uh, power system. Uh, okay, so we're going to need a whole bunch of you guys. So that's going to be fine. And we're going to need a bunch of the inserters. So we'll get those building. We are building some uh, transport belts at the very least. So that's going to help us out a lot. All right, so this is going to be our iron. Let's go ahead and get this one set up first because I think this is the one that we will need the most. For now, I'm only going to do the outside. I'm not going to mess with the inside just yet because we can just run by and, you know, pick them up from the actual smelters ourselves. We do have a little, uh, did I mention, I'm not sure if I mentioned last time, we do have the autofill thing, if you, you hadn't noticed that. Um, again, I'll, I'll make sure that the uh, list of mods are in the descriptions for these videos, but um, yeah, that's that's what you see there, putting some stuff into each one of these. Just a little bit of a primer. All right, I guess we can go ahead and put these down while we're waiting for the uh, other stuff to build. And again, we're only going to do the outside for now. We'll do the inside later. Don't have to be in a huge hurry. And honestly, we probably don't need both sides of this, but it's okay. 
All right, so that's good. Um, well, we can go ahead and put the rest of these down. And go ahead and hook up this stuff. In fact, we are going to need a few of those and a few of those. And what else do we need to hook up? We've got power that's what we need. In fact, we need a bunch of that. Copper seems to be one of the things we are missing the most of, so let's go ahead and make sure we pick up some more of that. And that will work. Uh, you're going to go there. Let's go ahead and save you to my bar. Uh, as soon as we get the splitters and the other ones, we'll put those down as well. You can go over here, I guess. We'll use a few more of you. Um, inserters, it's going to be fine. Power cables or power poles over there is going to be fine as well. And yep, that looks good. All right, so splitters, we need two of you. That's not what I want. Come on. There we go. Come on. Had it right the first time. All right, there we go. So I'm going to put iron on this one right here. Just because I like to put the, this is my own personal preference. Literally makes no difference whatsoever. But I like to put the ore that I'm using on the outer one because it's a little easier to spot what they are from a distance because it's, I don't know. It just is for me. Put the coal on the outside, it just, everything's black. So we'll go with that. Uh, so we do need to feed the iron in. Um, I'm hoping I gave myself enough space here. So for instance, the copper, if we do the same type of thing. Let's just give it a little bit of a space there. If it's coming in on a few lines there, we might not have given ourselves enough space for the iron. If we have four lines, although we might not ever have four lines from this patch, to be perfectly honest, we might only have two lines. You know what? That's probably gonna be fine. Two lines of each. Um, yep, yeah, I think that's gonna be perfectly fine. We'll put a little bit of a gap between them. So that means this one right here can be iron. And actually, if we put the copper out going, I don't know, to the side or something like that, we can do the load balancing on the side. I don't have to do up here to the top, which will be fine. All right, that's going to be good. And the bottom will go to anything after that. In fact, we might split this at some point. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so we actually have it coming down from there already. So let's actually just have you come down. And I think that's going to be perfectly fine. Um, let's go and pick all you guys up since they're stopped at the moment. And now, let's go ahead and finish out some more electric drills. I like things being filled out. Even though we don't, we don't really need the number at the moment, it still makes me happy. Uh, what are you missing? Oh, you're missing iron. That will work. Get that rolling some more. Uh, you're doing still doing good on cop, uh, coal, I should say. So we'll just give you a little bit more. How are we looking on power? Still fine on power. Although once these things all get hooked up, probably won't be quite as fine. And we'll go ahead and do that now, just to see where we're at. Go and hook in these inner ones just because we'll need those to get across to the other side anyway. And then they'll just be there for when we put the stuff in the middle. All right, so for the rest of it though, we'll just, uh, we'll just come across the top. Ah, military stuff done. Uh, let's go get some turrets rolling in. We'll build our, we will build ourselves a uh, submachine gun here shortly. Although I don't think we have anything to worry about with biters anytime soon. That's going to be good. And there you go. Perfect. So that's running. And let's see how our power is looking now. Actually, not too bad. We'll definitely need more before we start continue to expand. But uh, in fact, as we lay some of those uh, electric drills down, we'll definitely need more. But uh, that's rolling. In fact, you don't really need this anymore. So I'm just going to go pull all these up. Should have started with the inserters because now I'm just going to put stuff down on the ground. That's all right. We can go pick it up. And there we go. Um, uh, electric drills. There we go. So you are going to go there. You're going to go there. 
And that should cover just fine, because anything up here, I'll be able to get those, and that's going to be fine. I didn't realize I just lined it up over here on the left side, but I was not taking into account the fact that I was going to put a gap over here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put you on this as well. Because I am going to need to put a few of these down every once in a while. But that's going to be fine. That right there is going to be perfectly acceptable. Covers about 3.5k, so I'm okay with that being there. And yeah, no, that looks good. You are going to need something over here on this side. And all that's covered. So let's go ahead and get this side up here then. We'll just use the same spacing. Uh, I don't know, lights or something. It's going to be fine. Even though the lights is not as much of a problem with the add-on that I've got. The mod I've got, I should say. But uh, we may want some eventually. So you're going to need to be there and there. And that will cover everything. So that actually worked out quite nicely. That's all of our belts. And a few more miners. Now the ones up here again against the water are going to be a little harder to deal with. We may just finish out this line and just count that done for now. You know what, let's get some more electric drills. I, I do want to finish out this line. So, you can go there. Get all these guys hooked up. And now I can almost guarantee, yeah, I was going to say, guarantee that we're uh, running out of power. So, let's get another boiler and a couple steam engines. And you, for now, can come down here, go there, and we'll put a splitter in just to merge those two lines in. And that's going to be perfectly fine. Get us, should get us a fully saturated build, I think. Pretty close to it. All right, let's get a bunch of those. Need more iron here. Just fine. Let's go pick up some more iron from over here. Put a little bit more down as well. Coal situation over here is okay, but you can probably use a couple more stacks just to just to be safe. Oh, that's what I'm missing. Um. They have their starter coal, but I don't have actual coal over there. So I will need to run that over here shortly, which is another reason to have all these mining drills. Thankfully, you don't need quite as many mining drills for the coal as you do for the uh, iron, but that is something we will need. All right, there we go. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that for now. I don't think we need to clear out the rest of those trees anytime soon. All right, we do need to clear out a few trees down here, though. I think for now we'll leave those guys there. Oh, you know what? It's gonna bug me though. If I don't, if I don't line things up right, it's gonna bug me. So we'll tear them apart. This can be fine. Go away, trees. Come on, get all you guys up. Thankfully you were all full of coal, so I got plenty to pass around still. All right, uh, you know what? Four mining drills is all we got at the moment, but that's actually gonna be fine. We'll just line it like this, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine to get us, get us rolling. Come on. Uh, walls. I don't think we're going to need walls right this second. Well, we don't really need any of this stuff right this second. It's, it's quick, so let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, these trees are in the way. More in the way of my vision than anything. All right, that's going to be good. So we need to get you over here. Where am I going to run you? Because I actually didn't make room for you. Um... Could kind of split you one go up to the power and then one go around the bottom of the copper patch. It's not the most ideal place, but it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. So let's go ahead and just, I guess we don't have to we could ghost you for now. Just to plan out where you're going to go. All right, so 
for now we're going to split you I plan to have one of you going up that way we don't need it right this second uh, let's go and get you hooked up though because that'll get you making some some coal for us just run you up it's kind of parallel to this thing come on there we go so that'll get that moving very, very slowly though. Oh, that's right, because we were going to double our stuff. We have the stuff for it, but I didn't actually put them down. Uh, we should be able to two side by side before we put a gap to make room for uh, the pole. So that will be fine. And a pole. All right, so how are we doing on power now? All right, we're doing much better. That'll buy us quite a bit of time. Oh, you know what you need, though? You need, for now, a box with a bunch of this coal and a burner drill. All right, that'll work just fine. Right, so coal's coming in. Everything's moving just fine. Um, what I want to do, I guess that's fine. Electron is going to be fine. Actually, you know what? I was thinking about moving around the bottom, but that make, I completely forgot. I'm going to need to hook it up with the copper anyway. You know what? I think we're only going to need like one space here. So then if we put the coal here, then it can split as it moves along. I think that's going to be perfectly fine. So you need to go underground here, and for now, let's just have you come straight down. There we go. And at some point, we will split you off for the, the copper, but we won't need to do that right this second. More belts, lots more belts, nice. In fact, we won't even need to split this one yet because we're not moving anything past that yet. All right, so coal is going to slowly but surely get up there. It's going to help us get a whole bunch of iron taken care of. Let's go ahead and just collect a whole bunch now. We can drop some in this box up here. And let's get some copper. And drop a little bit in this box up here as well. Perfect. So... Everything's looking okay there. Let's go ahead and start working on this then. Just to make sure our power situation is dealt with. Come on, go away. Okay, I don't know if you guys are actually in the way, but visually you're in my way. Come on. Wow, I am terrible. Oh, goodness. Really? I can't draw a straight line to save my life. There we go. Uh, so you can go away. You're going to go away. Just for now, to kind of buy some time until this thing gets saturated, we're going to go ahead and put a bunch, uh, stack in each of those for now. And I do believe we will need some more um, mining drills since we are feeding both the power and the iron. So we'll get those coming in. Uh, how's our stone looking? Well, we got a little bit of a path we can put down. Not much. I think I'm just going to path out some of this right here. Right in front of these things. I know something like this would be fine. <laughs> Doesn't make a lot. All right, let's get a couple more of these down. And another power pole. And there we go. All right, well, we got a full iron line of smelting going. And I think we're going to put a cutting here, but next time we'll go ahead and get a copper line going. And then we can start feeding these things up north and uh, working on an actual bus. 
So that will be pretty good. I do appreciate you watching and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.